The pilgrimage inspired me to learn more about organizations prominent, lead, prominent leading up to the Civil Rights Movement. Organizations like the NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, of which I am now a member. Founded in 1909 with the idea of making America safe for democracy. Between 1920 and 1938, they flew a flag from their window of their office in New York City. It said a man was lynched yesterday as a way of bearing witness to this country's injustice. In 1910, the Urban League was formed to advocate for economic justice. The African American Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters or originated in 1925. The National Council of Women launched, Council of Negro Women launched in 1935. The Congress of Racial Equality Corps, inspired by the success of Gandhi and nonviolence, established in 1942. And then in 1957, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference was created with Martin Luther King, its first president. The Student Nonviolent Coordinating, Coordinating Committee, better known as SNCC, was formed in 1960 at Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ella Baker, one of the true heroes of the movement, along with Howard Zinn, advised the young activist. The activists and Baker espoused participatory democracy appealing to grassroots involvement, a minimized hierarchy with dual priorities of direct action and voter registration. SNCC would become known as the shock troops of a revolution, playing a leading role in the Freedom Rides, the March on Washington, the Mississippi Freedom Summer, the Selma Campaign, and the March Against Fear. One of the richest parts of the pilgrimage experience was spending time Spending time with, sitting next to, hearing stories of, and singing the songs with people who in the 1960s led this country further down the path to freedom. This included two founding members of SNCC. The most striking thing about both of them is how each of them, in their own way, is still continuing to lead us down the road to dignity and equality. Dr. Bernard Lafayette, who, along with his wife, Kate, continues to educate the world in the practice of nonviolence. And Bob Zellner, a white kid, raised in what he refers to as L.A., Lower Alabama. And with that sense of humor and with a sense of humor and fair play, he continues to work toward justice for all, whether that means walking nearly 200 miles in his 70s to protest the closing of rural hospitals in North Carolina or standing next to Reverend William Barber on that state capitol grounds during a moral Monday demonstration. And oh, oh, the stories they can tell. And we all will have a chance to learn Bob Zellner's story in a new movie. It's, it's entitled Son of the South. Stand up and rejoice, a great day is here. We're fighting for freedom and victory is near. Hallelujah, I'm a traveling. Hallelujah, ain't it fine? Hallelujah, I'm a traveling down to freedom's a main line. Hallelujah, I'm a traveling. Hallelujah, ain't it fine? Hallelujah, I'm a-traveling down freedom's main line.